After four years of waiting, the 2016 Olympics are here and that opening ceremony was everything. Don't worry if you missed it, we're breaking down all the best moments from the broadcast. There's nothing quite like the opening ceremony for the Olympics, and this year Rio put on an unforgettable experience. The event hosted by Matt Lauer, Meredith Vieira, and Hoda Kotb aired on NBC, and holy crap, it was as if World of Color met Small World. The ceremony was of course held in Rio at the Americana Stadium with over 6,000 dancers, visual masterpieces, and a positive message to boot surrounding unity, pride, and climate change. The countdown to Showtime was a spectacle in and of itself. There were overhead projectors and an army of performers dressed in reflective silver suits that brought reflective blankets to life by creating a checkerboard as lights projected beneath them. The amount of planning that had to go into that to make it work must have been crazy and it went off without a hitch. The singing of the Brazilian national anthem was just as beautiful performed by Paulinho da Viola as a group of children wrapped in different flags gathered around the flagpole as the Brazilian flag was raised. Then the magic really kicked off for the segment meant to portray the history of Brazil, during which performers acted out the habitation of the Amazon by descending from ribbons and easily creating the dopest forest I've ever seen. And if your mind wasn't already blown from that, then they pulled off this optical illusion where out of nowhere a metropolis emerged as the overhead projectors made it look like buildings were legit, rising from the ground as performers parkoured from rooftop to rooftop, full on Cirque du Soleil style. But no doubt one of my favorite moments was getting to see supermodel Giselle Boonchen rock the runway once again as a tribute to her homeland. Her dress was designed by Brazilian designer Alexander Herchkovich and it flowed beautifully as she strutted across the stadium in what could easily break records as the longest runway walk ever. Oh, and side note, then there was this really attractive flag bearer for Team Tonga and who you could not help but focus on because dude was ripped and someone oiled him down generously. You already know the internet freaked out. Then how cool is it that for the first time in Olympic history there is a team of refugees consisting of 10 athletes from Syria, South Sudan, Ethiopia, and Democratic Republic of the Congo. When they entered the stadium the crowd roared with excitement after the president of the International Olympic Committee spoke highly of the team saying quote, this will be a symbol of hope for all the refugees in our world and will make the world better aware of the magnitude of this crisis. It is also a signal to the international community that refugees are our fellow human beings and are an enrichment to society. Then representing for Team USA, Michael Phelps was given the honor of being the flag bearer and rightfully so because dude has won a crap ton of gold medals. He expressed his excitement about getting the opportunity to hold the flag on the Today Show saying quote, it's something I'm obviously looking forward to. There's definitely going to be a lot of emotions. It's a huge honor to me. Another epic moment was when the stadium floor was suddenly filled with large spinning mirrored boxes that then sprouted greenery that formed the Olympic rings. Then the icing on the cake was when they exploded with green confetti. I mean, if you're gonna make it rain, you might as well do it big, you know? Then the party really started when dancers decked out in colors rushed to the stage and busted out in a full-on dance party to celebrate diversity. Everyone was clearly having a great time, and when cameras panned to Giselle Boonchen, she was getting her life. And of course, we can't talk about the Olympics without mentioning the torch. I'm convinced they borrowed the cauldron from Hogwarts. It looked so epic, we're talking rotating spheres of mirrors. If that doesn't summon the chosen one, I don't know what will. The ceremony ended with a very important message about climate change, during which a beautiful poem was read aloud, while a young boy nurtured a tree on stage. The icing on the cake is that there have been reports that all of the athletes have been asked to plant trees upon leaving Rio. Pretty cool, right? I think the opening ceremony is hands down always my favorite part of the Olympics, so I want to hear what moments were your favorite. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe and then click right over here to see Seth Rogen hanging out with Lily and Aaron on cheat day. Thanks for watching Clever News, I'm Drew Dorsey and I'll see you next time. Click to the left to check out a brand new Rumor Patrol or click to the right for Beauty Break.